in order to prevent the further slaughter of Dublin citizens and in the hope of saving the lives of our followers now surrounded and hopelessly outnumbered the members of the provisional government present at headquarters have agreed to an unconditional surrender and the commandants of the various districts in the city and country will order their commands to lay down their arms P.H. Pierce 29th of April 3.45pm 1916 Put your hands down now Wrong. We should have taken to the hills and fought like the boars. It's the only way to fight when you're weakening the enemy. That way we could have worn them down and won in the end. It was never about winning. If it wasn't about winning, what was the point? What'll happen to us now? Nothing good, I suppose. You're cold. Take this. Name? Thomas O'Toole. Ernest Coyne. What age are you, Coyne? He's 18. Over there. Name? Boy. Albert Kelly. If they want to go, I want to stay here. Go with him, go on. Name? Pay for the slammer for sure. Or worse. But you're just a kid, they might let you go. Name? I don't want them to. Don't be an E, just call him. All that bollocks about never surrendering. Surrender as many times as you have to. Then clobber them the minute they think they have you tamed. That's what I say. He's right. Ernie, go on. Eater? Eater? Eater! 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 That one for you, Corporal. such thing. We're prisoners of war. It's all right now, Ernie. You don't have to worry. I mean not to give you the trouble of bringing judicial proof to convict me. From my earliest youth, I have regarded the connection between Ireland and Great Britain as the curse of the Irish nation. And felt convinced that whilst it lasted, this country could never be free or happy. I have helped to organize, to arm, to train and to discipline my fellow countrymen to the sole end that when the time came, they might fight for Irish freedom. 
we seem to have lost. We have not lost. You cannot conquer Ireland. You cannot extinguish the Irish passion for freedom. If our deed has not been sufficient to win our freedom, then our children will win it by a better deed. I place my trust in thee. Raymond Kant, follow me. Burn. Is this the boy? Ernest Coyne, you will be released into the care and protection of your father on condition that you take a solemn oath never again to involve yourself with the enemies of the crown. Take that man away. You have been a very foolish Young man, Ernest. But Colonel McConchie has had the goodness to intercede on your behalf. You'll be set free as soon as you give your parole. The alternative is prison. Come. I'll stay. man I know. I didn't think you liked me. Whatever gave you that idea? You're so rude to me. You see, you've noticed me. You're behind a fountain shooting at soldiers. It's the kind of thing you tend to notice that occur. In a moment, to look at Rebel Heart for next week. Then stay with us as Compass continues to explore the mystery of the human brain. From the front line to the home front. I'm not going to university. The rebels return triumphant. We swept Ireland. It's a time for rekindled love. The handsomest man I know. And a time for new recruits.